Hello friends, it's Sarah from Sweet Sense from the Dollhouse. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you're returning waxy, as always, welcome back. And you will know that I have not done a Scentsy haul in a very, very long time. Um, I believe the last time I did a haul was November of 2017. I did a couple Christmas hauls, but those weren't really for me. They were for Christmas gifts, so that's not as exciting. Um, but this is my first mini haul of some things that I found interesting in the spring and summer catalog. Um, if you watch my first sniffs video, I wasn't very pumped about the testers. Not necessarily that I didn't like the scents or the fragrance lineup. I just found a lot of the wax to be incredibly weak. I called consultant support and said, you know, it, could it just be these mini testers, you know, are poured with a different wax or whatever? Is there like some reasonable explanation why they hardly smell at all? Or if I have to use my imagination to get the scent notes out of them? And they said, no, it's poured with the exact same wax as the bars. So I was hesitant to go crazy and place a ginormous haul, but... Uh, I took a chance, so I hope this isn't very disappointing because it's, it's not very big. I just thought um, I'm running out of a couple things that I need to have on hand for my customers, and then I'm just going to order a couple bars, a few things here and there, and see how they are before I go crazy and do huge hauls like I used to. Also, this box has been sitting out in the rain for <clears throat> probably 24 hours now because we were out of um, the country, well, not out of the country, but out of our little county for a few days. So I was very nervous once I saw online that it had shipped. Look at this packaging. Like, holy kill some trees. Usually I'm not a fan of that. But thankfully, because Sensi has packaged it so well, my showcase brochures are in plastic wrap. And you can tell that the outside of the plastic wrap is damp. But because of all that absurd wrapping, the rest of my product doesn't look like it has water damage. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Sensi, for that. So I ordered the 2018 showcase brochures. These obviously aren't as good as getting the real catalogs, but these are nice just because they're crazy affordable. I think it pays $6 for 50 of them. I can hand these out to just about anybody. I, I tend to save my catalogs, the full catalogs, for customers or for people who have made a purchase. And that's okay too. That, you know, if you offer a free gift with every purchase, you can put together a couple little samples as well as the catalog. That is a free gift. That is something that you pay for and they're not cheap. So offer catalogs as part of a free gift with some samples. More packing to keep my product dry, thank goodness. I also ordered the um, Fragrance in Motion little brochures for the Scentsy Go. I didn't have any of the new ones, so I thought, eh. Those will be worth having around. Next in the, I, oh man, this box is falling apart. This is really wet. Uh, this box for Lenny the Lamb is a little damp. So I'm gonna take Lenny out and give him to Miss Ella Bella for her birthday. Um, and then make sure that this box is dried out really well. I keep these boxes. That's entirely up to you, depending on how much storage space you have. Scentsy Buddies are collector's items. Um, I'm a long-term collector of, uh, I have a Star Wars collection and, and a, a big one, a really nice Star Wars collection. So I'm all about keeping original packaging, as well as I have just over, just over 300 creepy horror themed dolls upstairs in my attic. I'm all about boxes, so I keep these. But if you're not a true collector, you can toss the box. Like if you never intend on selling your collection or showcasing your collection, who cares? 
You don't need to keep the box. Oh my word. I have been snoozing on this buddy for the longest time. I don't know why. Look how cute he is. My friend and subscriber Marissa is going to say he looks derpy, but that's just because he's smushy in the box. But once you fluff up his face, Lenny the Lamb is so cute. I'm really, really happy that I finally went ahead and got this one for Ella. We have so many Scentsy Buddies, and I haven't even been a Scentsy consultant for a full year, and our house is swimming with Scentsy Buddies. So I kept saying, no more Scentsy Buddies. I've had it with the Scentsy Buddies. But Lenny is so cute. How can you resist? He's just too dang adorable. Now I'm going to say no Scentsy Buddies. Unless they come out with a white unicorn, no more Scentsy Buddies. Let's see what I got in this box. So I'm just getting back from... Oh, 72 hour staycation. Best Western Lamplighter Inn is in London, Ontario. It's a really, really nice hotel. I will show you uh, some pictures and video clips of the time that we spent there. It's so nice. We rent it for the children's birthday parties. If, if you're a parent and you've ever tried to take 15 to 20 kids to see an hour and 10 minute kids movie, they give you this cheesy little pop with like a handful of stale popcorn and it costs almost $300. That is crazy. You still have to buy the cake, the goodie bags. You know what I mean? It's, ugh, I think it's absurd. For an hour and what, 20 minutes of entertainment? Stupid expensive. When we go to the Lamplighter Inn, we get a poolside room with a balcony it's like got a huge, the balcony is massive where you entertain, you set up your party table. So um, we made lasagna, we had tons of like snack foods, fruits, veggies, whatever, candy dishes for the kids to pick on, um, huge ice cream cake. And for $190, you get the room and the party as well as 15 wristbands to have 15 kids swim in the pool. And they can stay there from 3 o'clock when you check in till 10 o'clock at night. Part of your brain's out. So it's absolutely worth it. Um, not as good as going to Cuba, mind you. Or, you know, all-inclusive for a week. But it's still really, really nice. Just what I needed to kind of um, <clears throat> energize. Uh, so I picked up... Three 25 watt light bulbs to new Sensi consultants. I really don't recommend having stock on hand. Um, you'll sit on inventory unless you're booking tons of events, uh, vendor, trade shows, fairs, festivals, so on and so forth. That's the only time you want to get into buying stock. But I always recommend having light bulbs on hand. My customers, without fail, always need light bulbs. The scent pack I chose to go with Lenny is Blueberry Cheesecake. One of my subscribers recently recommended that one. I'm surprised I've never tried that one before. Um, and they told me apparently it smells exactly like the bar and lasts a long time. So eager to try that one out and I will do a little review or follow up on that later. Oh man, it's just not standing up. Oh wow. Speaking of blueberry cheesecake, this is a bar that I cannot for the life of me keep in stock. So I always order six packs of blueberry cheesecake and bulbs because I know I can move these. These will be gone by the end of the week, guaranteed. Um, what else? I chose pods here in Canada. I don't recommend using your Sensi Go during the winter unless you are very diligent by not leaving it in cold places. Um, I did a Sensi No Go review on my channel. You can check that out in my playlists. Um, so it says right in the Sensi Go facts, you're not supposed to subject it to certain temperatures. 
And in Canadian winters, I use my Sensi Go in the car. Um, I've also just recently talked to another subscriber. She was considering buying one. Um, I don't recommend Sensi Go for large spaces. If you want to scent a closet, um, four door sedan, really teeny tiny spaces, Sensi Go is good for that with two pods because I like mine strong. But you couldn't put a Sensi Go in like a 600 square foot room and hope it to do it like anything but I love it for my vehicle so I picked up a twin pack of Amazon rain this is one of my favorite Scentsy scents oh yeah smells exactly like the buffer so I'm very excited to break that out because it keeps getting warmer and warmer here in Canada the next thing I grabbed was a new release um, spring and summer warmer I'm not really into warmers, Scentsy warmers right now because I have so many that I don't even use. I just can't justify. The new ones are beautiful, 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 don't get me wrong, but I just can't justify buying more warmers when I don't use the ones I have. However, when this Octopus Mini Warmer came out, I was like, damn, okay, okay, I'll make an exception. The other one I want to make an exception for is Seize the Day, and I have purposely kept the catalog hidden from my girls, like my oldest ones, because I know those girls will be like, but mom, but mom, can I just get this one? So of course you're going to get all of the regular accessories. I'm not going to pop these out and show you, but I will just show you, oh, so nice, the shade. This is beautiful. Look how pretty that is. I don't think you're going to get a lot of light from this one because it's totally opaque, thick ceramic, but you will get a little bit of light out of these holes. It's gorgeous in typical Scentsy style, just beautiful. Um, it is, however, very heavy. Um, it'll be interesting. I, I sold my mini wildlife warmer because it was a glass um, dish like this and it was so heavy that it sat hanging on an angle out of my wall. It was just, it didn't matter what outlet I put it in, I tried it in a hundred different outlets. When they sit on an angle, the, the wax doesn't heat evenly so you're not getting a proper scent throw. I got rid of it. Um, hopefully this base just holds it, supports it a little bit better, and, and I don't have that problem with this one, but it's gorgeous. I thought I would take a chance, so I will give you an update on um, everything that I've ordered here. I'll give you a little review on the scent pack, on Amazon Rain, how that performs, as well as let you know if this bulb warmer, or sorry, mini warmer is super heavy in the outlets. Um, when I called consult and support about it, they weren't very helpful. They were like, how old is your house? I'm like, I live in like an original 120 year old farmhouse. What do you mean? And he's like, oh, well, you should probably replace your electrical outlets. My electricity, like my outlets have been upgraded since 120 years ago, buddy. And that's not really a reasonable alternative to offer customers who've spent money on something. You know, I can't, I'm not going to tell my customers, no, since you didn't do anything wrong, you need to replace your electrical outlets. Like that's the silliest shit I've ever heard. But I digress. I'll let you know how that one turns out. So we've got some new scents and mind you, I didn't order a lot. I'm just going to try and organize them here because I know I ordered a couple doubles. Oh, maybe I didn't. Wow. I didn't even remember what I ordered to be honest. So the first one I ordered is Sheer Leather. This is the one that I was most excited about. I think during the first sniffs video, I, I think the tester smelt like axe and teenage shame. 
wasn't quite the scent that I had anticipated. Mm, still not the scent that I was hoping for. I don't know. I don't know. For the sake of scent scores, I will definitely warm this, but I'm, I'm wondering, it's not so much like Axe in the full size bar, but it's still not what I had in mind. I think my dad might actually really like this. So perhaps if you're looking for Father's Day ideas, this would be a fantastic scent for the Mr. Magoo in your life. The next one I ordered is Pineapple Pucker. This smelled amazing in the testers, but in the tester, it smelled almost identical to Pineapple Sorbet, which returned to our catalog. Pineapple Pucker is a new release, and I'm just surprised that they put two that are so close together, but got rid of something phenomenal like Blueberry Rush. We I would have loved to have a blueberry and a pineapple versus just two pineapple, but hey, who's counting? This is so much like pineapple sorbet. So I want to do a uh, wax wars and have a pineapple melt off. I'm going to put two pineapple scents from Scentsy. Let you know if they are similar, what the differences are, and which one perform better. So stay tuned, that will be in an upcoming episode of Wax Wars. The next one I ordered and surprised I only got one, Caramel Sugar Comb. This one sounded amazing until I read that it had malt in it and I was really turned off by it, but the testers smelled fantastic. Not super strong, but one of four strong scents that I smelt out of all of the new spring summer releases oh man this one <laughs> smells incredible in the bar it's still not very strong I'm hoping it's because they're not like ice winter cold but it's not much stronger than the tester I'm very eager to see how this one performs oh got an empty warmer right there. Which one are we going to throw in? Next one is, oh, I can never pronounce this, Pastelitos, whatever it is. This was in the Cuba little gift pack that they put out last May, and it made it into the catalog this year. Oh my word. Oh, okay. Immediately ordering a six pack of this. This smells to die for. Oh, if I had this and Barrett's Wax Crafts Private Island melting all summer, I kid you not, I would need nothing else. This smells incredible. Perfect summer scent. I need six of these. Before I would have just jumped online and reordered, but now I now I'm I'm starting to be a little bit more reserved with my Scentsy purchases. I'm going to warm a couple of cubes of this before I place a giant order and then get stuck with a bunch of wax. <clears throat> next one I ordered for Miss Grace. I'm going to tuck this away for Easter next weekend. It's called Candy Crave. Oh yeah, she's going to love this. Oh man, what was that one in the catalog last year? candy cookie something. Do you remember? I'm totally drawing a blank here. Cotton candy cookie or whatever it was and it was like a light purple wax. Don't get me wrong, this is not the same, but if you liked that one, you would for sure like candy crepe. It's all things sugary sweet. Tucking that away for an Easter present for Gracie. Um, I ordered two is A is for Apple. Not sure why I ordered two of these instead of two of the caramel sugar cone or the that pastelitos or whatever. That's going to be my summer scent. A is for Apple is really good too though. Um, 
oh, on cold, this is the most reminiscent scent in the Scentsy catalog of uh, the apple that you'll get in top indie vendor wax. So, um, oh, who is it? Vintage Chic Scents, Yakety Yak. Very similar. This is much stronger than Vintage Chic Scents, though. It's that Mac apple note that you get in vendor wax. So that's really, really nice. Be interested to see what kind of performance I get out of this, but this is the closest, strongest scent that I get to that reminds me of vendor wax out of the entire Scentsy catalog. Next one, I grabbed two of All You Need Is Love. I did really enjoy this tester. I was hoping this one was like uh, serendipity in vendor wax. It's creamy coconut, something something, and a touch of Bing cherry. And the tester, I didn't get a lot of Bing cherry. It's not at all like serendipity from like that the indie vendors carry. But I did really like the scent in the tester, so I'm hoping I'm not disappointed in the bar. Oh, damn, that smells delicious too. I am going to melt this with that Pastelitos one or whatever it is. This is gorgeous. Really happy I have two of them. But with that being said, it's kind of light. Actually, really light in the bar. So my guess is this isn't going to be a very good performer. But I hope I'm wrong because that is a beautiful, beautiful scent. So that's it, folks. I apologize. It's such a mini Scentsy haul, and uh, I know I haven't done one since November, but I have a lot of Scentsy that I acquired um, <laughs> that I didn't mean to acquire, so I had purchased a boatload of Scentsy stuff because I did several vendor events over Christmas, um, and whatever I didn't sell, I wasn't too worried about it because I thought, hey, like I can move Scentsy, even if I get stuck with some after a vendor event, I'll still sell it to my regulars or whatever. I'll have an open house. I'll get rid of it. But I did discover, I think it was like early January, that a vast majority of my Scentsy bars were sweating. So I've been trying to melt all of that wax instead of purchasing more. I will not sell customers sweaty bars. So that's why I haven't really been doing any hauls from Scentsy. I'm also very um, almost convinced that the formula of the Scentsy Bar has changed, especially since the September 1st recommendations that we now have to triple the amount of wax that we used to use. I believe that, that it has nothing to do with the warmer dishes. I think it has everything to do with the bars. So I'm going to continue to do scent scores and wax wars, and hopefully we can find some strong performers in the new spring and summer collection. Because, oh man, some of these scents are bloody amazing. I just, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we are going to get some bangers out of this catalog because I was kind of disappointed with the fall and winter performers. So stay tuned and let's see. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.